Welcome to another episode of the DJ Podcast. In this week's video, we're going to be talking about this guy right here, the machine for Native Instruments, and how to sync it with Traktor. I will say that this video is specifically for Mac users who want to run both Traktor and Machine on the same computer. If you have a Windows machine, you're going to need to get a virtual MIDI cable application, which I have linked in the episode notes at thedjpodcast.com. Or if you're trying to sync Traktor and Machine that are running on two different computers, the best bet is for you to just use a standard mini cable and plug the machine into the other computer's sound card or a USB to mini device. So let's get started by jumping right into Traktor. We're going to start here in Traktor, and the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our preferences by clicking this icon here. And we're going to go down to the Controller Manager settings and we're going to be adding a MIDI device so we're going to click add and then we want a generic MIDI device. We're then going to set the import for this generic MIDI device to none and the out port to tractor virtual output. The next thing we're going to want to do is go to the MIDI clock settings and we want to make sure that send MIDI clock is enabled and that for right now our MIDI clock sending offset is set to 0 ms. The next thing we're going to want to do is switch over to machine. So here we are in machine. So under the file menu we're going to go to audio and MIDI settings. We're going to go to the MIDI tab and then you can see now that we have a tractor virtual output as one of our devices. You want to make sure that the status for that is set to on and that the status for all of the other devices, like these ones, are set to off. So once you have that set, you can simply click OK. And we're going to go back to the file menu and we're going to click on Sync to External MIDI Clock. So here we are back in Tractor. And we're going to want to open up the clock panel in Tractor. I have it open here. If you have a effects open, for example, you just click this metronome looking icon and it will open up the clock panel. The first thing you're going to want to do is set clock to internal. That means that Traktor will sync to its own internal MIDI clock. And you're going to want to press the play pause MIDI clock button and then the sync button. So now if I change this BPM to say 130 and I switch back to machine you'll see that it now has the same BPM as Traktor. But we're not done yet. We still need to make sure that our sound coming from both applications is in time. So for this you're going to want to enable the metronome in both programs. For Traktor you simply click this tick button here and it will start the metronome. You're probably not going to hear anything because you actually have to preview it on a channel by using the headphone option. To start the metronome on machine, you're going to want to click shift place and that will start the metronome in machine. So now you're going to want to go back to your MIDI clock settings if you close them. And you can see here that we have 0ms set to our MIDI clock sending offset. This is where we're going to adjust the value to make sure that our metronomes in are in time. So if I bring both channels up, you'll hear how they are out of sync. That's not good. So we're going to bring both of them up and you're going to want to listen and you're going to want to adjust the sending offset so that both metronomes are in time. Now I know that for my computer I usually have it set to 32 ms. And you can hear that they're both pretty close. Now I am recording this uh, screen capture on my computer so it's a little bit off but you can hear that generally they are pretty close in time with each other. You're just going to need to adjust the sending offset so that both metronomes are in time and then when you go to play your tracks with sounds from machine everything will be in time. 